part two of making an adventure map and we're starting right now progress update over here the cliff it was looking kind of sudden and unnatural so i spent some time adding this on the whole cliff now over here you can still see the dirt lines like that going up and down and over here there's none of them that's because i got from all the way over there to here making the snow completely flat like no dirt lines but here i gave up because i didn't know if it would be good or not because this kind of adds some more detail but if you think about it like a glacier, not like a cliff, then this makes more sense. But it kind of looks plain and flat. I need you to tell me if this looks good or not. Which one? Dirt or snow? Over here, this is a bit smoother and stuff. More hilly. There's kind of this little hill detail thing around, right? And then over here, if we look, we have some, some stone on top of this now. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to mention that. Anyways, uh, we have stone on top of it right now to make it look more like a mountain. And over here, this is a huge wall that goes all the way around the whole place just so you wouldn't see over the edge and see the void because that kind of doesn't make sense so it goes all the way around even in the snowy areas you so far can get from the highest mountain in the snowy areas on top of the the wall right now like that but other than that it's pretty good tell me what you think of the wall or if i should just tear it down keep it uh, empty drop to the void over here this hill is much more smoothed out yeah a lot of people were complaining about that so here you go smoother hill and also an another thing lots of people are complaining about is how flat this place was i went around and made it more like covered in explosions and stuff now i think it looks much better much more like rough terrain it's it's still kind of plain but it's much better than a flat desert like that like it used to be I still will have kind of big walls, not like a maze, but more like a really simple maze maybe, going around, because this looks like rough terrain to fight a boss in, and especially with the magma blocks, it's hard to get around here without losing all your life. And then if we look over here at the volcano, a couple of you suggested, thank you for suggesting this, there could be a cursed item or something that you start with, and you have to go over to this area, fight the main boss or whatever it's going to be, and then throw the item into the volcano to win. And I think that sounds like a good idea. I need more suggestions from you to figure out what the item should be. And if that's a good idea or not, please tell me. Another thing is a fortress around this place. And yeah, that would be kind of cool. And maybe like orcs or something around that use the main volcano as their smeltery. And you have to fight past their fortress or sneak in to be able to access the volcano to throw your item in. What if we had a starting area made of like quartz or something. And it was just like small rooms and such. And you get to decide what they're gonna be so basically you can be an archer or a warrior or maybe like a mage or someone and you just press a button or something the rest of the buttons disappear and you get the items and stuff and then it teleports you to the avalanche and the whole thing starts so here is gonna be where our main village is gonna be let's start making the village Okay, so this is how far I got with the building. So I have three normal cabins right here. All of them are exactly the same for now. I think glowstone on the roof like that. And then over here, following the sidewalk, I have one big master building like this. Probably like the mayor's house or the main office or something. There's going to be a big fireplace or something like that over here to keep it warm since this is a snowy area. And over here, following this carved out snow path, we've got a small woodshed for the fireplace over there. So th this is how far I got with the building, but I stopped because I just got a really good idea. So basically, here we are in the world, and if we look around at first glance, it just looks like a b bunch of normal villagers, until you realize they're actually walking on basically perfectly straight lines. And so what I did is I figured out a way to have villagers, when they walk on top of stairs like this, and place a villager here, then once I name him, he will walk on the stairs the direction they're facing. So I have a bunch of stairs around because of these command blocks underneath the ground and the villagers follow those paths and also here I just discovered a way to have them work walk on the same path 
but go opposite directions with stairs underneath. So if they're named one, then they walk on the top stairs, and if they're named the other name, then they walk on the bottom. Follow those. And so over here, I have a perfect example of how that can be handy. Over here, I have a water shop or something. And see, that guy just got his water, so he's leaving. And if we look over here, this guy is coming over to get some water from the water shop, even though there's a well right there. He stands in the line, and eventually, it moves on. This guy got his water, so he can leave and go get some more water. This is probably the best thing I've built so far, other than the guy that's going on a walk. Here's the guy that's on the walk, and he leaves his house, goes over here, passes by the tree, just like this, over here towards the command blocks, and as you can see, they are intersecting right here. So he goes over here, and he likes to watch the redstone for a while, just like this. Here he is, and once the redstone's done, he leaves over here to come over here to the water stand, talk to guys, check out the prices, see if they drop maybe buy some water later on but once he's done this he is gonna go this way and read this well sign right here it says no touchy over here to go and sit down quietly and watch the tree for a few minutes I like how the light goes through the tree like that and then he leaves goes this way and as you can see he goes back to his house over here I was working on another path for villager which is gonna be two villagers that meet up somewhere here actually here probably to trade or something and then they're gonna go back to their houses then it gets a bit complicated over here because I kind of got a hmm how's this gonna work okay and then if I connect it up like this there and then wait that's not right or is it uh, problems all ironed out if I go like this place a villager name him Bob then go over here, place another villager, and name him, also Bob. They're going, they're going, and... They're trading! Yeah! They're trading, finally! There's a huge mess of stairs down there, but it finally works. And now, do they all go back? Perfect! That's amazing! Okay, so this is what I'm gonna have for the village in the other place. And it's gonna be amazing. They're all gonna walk around, and maybe some of them will have buttons you press to get a side quest or something, and they'll talk to you through the chat. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. And now they're actually lined up perfectly, facing each other like that. Here we are. Let's wait for all the ch chunks to load up, just like that. Perfect. Okay, so this is the village so far. I probably already told you, but I. Oh, I just realized. The snow layers. It worked perfectly well with all the stairs on a perfectly flat world, but. With all these snow layers, is it gonna work? Oh, okay, this is a pretty flat area right here. Guess I should make the village go more this way. Hmm. Am I gonna have to have them all walk on sidewalks, or are they actually gonna be able to walk on the snow too? You know what? The villagers actually float, don't they? Yeah, they, they're, they're no AI, which means also no gravity, so they just float. Which means they should also probably be able to just walk with their feet in the snow. I guess that works. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's get down to business and make more of a village now. Also, I need your suggestions because you are smarter than me. I don't have all the knowledge in the world. I don't know what makes a good adventure map. So I need you to tell me anything that you think would be a good addition to this map. Because we've got all these biomes, but nothing in them other than just random terrain so far and a village way over there. That's not enough. We need side quests we need more villagers we need quests and stuff different boss fights different ideas for secret things you can find maybe it's temples or something paths and things you can find along them names for towns names for bosses anything you have please i need your suggestions so go down there and write them down because that's the only way i can see them but please click the video right there the video is on the screen. Well, where'd it go? The video is on the screen. Click it, please. I'm uh, invisible. Weird. Click it. Click the video. Please click it. Come on. I know you see it. It's hard to make videos. Come on, click it. Eh, 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 eh. eh fine. See ya.